Uh, I am Clay Williams. I am uh, the race car driver with the Mini JCW team, and uh, I am obviously my mother's son, and I was the emotional support throughout their uh, experience. Janine Williams, and I had two transplants, a liver transplant 33 years ago and a kidney transplant almost three years ago. Um, I'm Sierra Williams. I'm Clayton's sister, also oldest daughter. <laughs> and um, I was the kidney donor for our mom in 2020, so yes. almost three years ago. In 1989, I was diagnosed with hepatitis non-A, non-B, which they don't even have anymore. <laughs> and I had a liver transplant and it was very new for them. And the likelihood that I was going to live and have kids was really not in the cards, but I'm still going with that liver. And I was blessed to have my kids, very grateful for that. And when you have a transplant, like a liver transplant, you're on a lot of immunosuppression and having it for years and years and years, it slowly just deteriorates your kidney. Yeah, um, she's being modest though, because after her liver transplant and having both of us, she then, being immunocompromised, had uh, a skin cancer and breast cancer. So her score is four to zero, because with the kidney uh, disease now. So she's definitely put up a big fight. So when she said she needed a kidney or would eventually need one, I just felt in my heart that it would be me. I just knew that that was what was gonna happen. Um, and I was excited that I was gonna be the one to support her, but also um, tried to keep it a secret. So I was a senior in college and I applied and did all of the background work without her knowing um, <laughs> until I got to the point where I needed to go and actually do tests, like <laughs> blood work and stuff. And I said I needed a ride to the hospital. <laughs> so uh, it wasn't until we really got down to the wire that she kind of accepted it. Um, and then in 2020, when she got to the point of it's bad enough, but not too bad, um, they called me and they said, you're the match, pick a date. I said, okay. So I picked a day a couple of days before my birthday in the summer. So July of 2020. And I ran downstairs and I said, mom, we have a date. Here we go. Being her mom, I definitely did not want that at all. I was highly against that. I was hoping she wouldn't be a match. My husband tested and he couldn't because he had kidney stones and Clay was underage, so he couldn't do it either. And I'm just, it was just a terrifying and beautiful experience all at once. Being in 2020, we got dropped off by my husband and son and we had a wave goodbye. No one could go in with us. It was just her and I, and they took us upstairs and laid us side by side and it was just a, definitely a difficult but magical time for us, for sure. Yeah, that was uh, by far the hardest part for uh, for me and my dad. Um, you know, we, we drove all the way there. It was about an hour car ride. Um, and we literally pulled right out front and uh, they got out of the car and, and we watched them walk inside and we waved, uh, we'll wave, see you later. Um, and you know, that's, that's all we can really do. Uh, we drove back home and, uh, we didn't talk very much. It was pretty much silent until, um, uh, late that night. We, my dad finally got a phone call. Um, uh, it did actually go over the expected time. So we were definitely getting a little bit worried. Um, but yeah, they, we got a call and it was, um, instant relief. And my dad was actually able to talk to my mom over the phone. So. Uh, to, for her to be able to already be speaking and, and talkative was was a great sign. So, um, but yeah, it was extremely hard, especially with COVID. Um, you know, we're we're super thankful that we were able to go uh, even and go visit them. Um, you know, we like my mother said, we had to go to each one of their rooms, and we both would switch every couple hours. Um, 
even though that they were both sleeping at times, we just enjoyed being in their presence. And then when we got through all that, my son told me that he was going to try and promote all awareness for transplant, kidney transplant, breast cancer, anything he could to bring attention to how it does save lives and what it, whether it's a donor or a cadaver donor or anything, how just wonderful it could be. And to answer questions for people who have automatic answers, they think, you know, people won't help them. They won't get to the emergency room. They'll just let them go and take it. Very strange things out there. So I am extremely proud of both of them for what they've accomplished. You know, during this time is where I was actually turning to the professional side of racing. So um, it was kind of a good opportunity because um, they're at these events. There's going to be fans there now. Um, and I really had a platform now to show people um, this amazing cause and, you know, promote awareness and um, yeah, I mean, it was kind of perfect timing in that case. And, you know, watching their whole experience made me want to uh, promote it even more um, as I was turning professional. Yeah, so uh, I started racing when I was seven years old in, in go-karting uh, in Northern California. Um, I did that. Uh, I did everything from club level events to uh, regional events to national events around the country. Uh, we did that till I was about 17, so about 10 years or so, and I, I just moved up the ranks um, and uh, kind of got as far as I could uh, in the karting world. Um, and then I moved up to uh, amateur sports car racing uh, in a class called Spec Miata Racing. Um, did that for a couple of years, um, and then in 2020, um, I actually met the owners of the uh, Mini John Coop Works Racing Team that's ran by uh, LAP Motorsports. Um, and they're based in, in Brownsburg, uh, Indiana. Um, and uh, their next race happened to be coming to Sonoma Raceway, which is my home track. Um, and uh, I did my first event with them and I finished third on the podium. So um, it was a great first uh, debut into the professional racing world. Um, and uh, I've been running with them ever since. Um, we're in the middle of our season right now. Uh, we just came back from Texas actually, uh, where I got two wins and now we're leading the championship. Clay so Williams through the final quarter and wins. Hopefully we can stretch out our championship lead um, for these next few events. We got uh, VIR in Virginia coming up uh, next or this coming weekend actually. Um, so hopefully we can extend our lead there and you know our race in India will go super smooth and uh, we'd round out the championship at the top step and um, it'd be perfect being in Indiana um, with you guys and our, our team is based there. So that'd be pretty awesome. I, I, I'm completely speechless when it comes to them. I've never, they've succeeded our dreams and what we wanted to do and, you know, bringing awareness and support. I think we were lucky mm -hmm. in the sense that we had each other. So yeah. we got to sit together, lay in bed together, go on walks afterwards together. Mm -hmm. So I think, um, you know, if you're finding out that's happening in your family, just finding your support team, who's gonna pick you up, who's gonna take you home, who's gonna make your coffee in the morning, who's gonna bring it to you in bed, um, just finding out what, what'll happen. It was well worth the, the fight that I went through.